machines in our shop, mm -hmm. like you, uh, YouTube, Alibaba, Facebook, uh, and other uh, websites. Uh, uh, you can click to see our, in our shop. We have uh, many machine tool equipment, like CNC laces, then saw, lace machine, baby machine, and also many CNC machines. Well, today I would like to show you our pop star bandsaw machine to you. This small bandsaw machine is our new arrival. Uh, uh, some fans from the live show, uh, you can follow our shop and then you can see on the shop link, uh, there is the uh, machine link listed in the basket. You can see um, the top one is our bandsaw machine. This small bandsaw machine, BS125, BS125 bandsaw machine. Well, this bandsaw machine is designed with the horizontal and also the vertical structure. Or we can uh, put it vertical just uh, to change some uh, screws, but uh, we need the professional engineer to set it. Mm -hmm. Well, today let's see this machine detail. Uh, from, from upper side to the downside, let's see uh, uh, this machine, this uh, model is uh, 550 watt. 550 watt. Mm. The machine has the CE standard, uh, the machine main motor, and then the coolant motor, the coolant pump. And the, this is the uh, basic button of the machine. It's a plastic cover for the buttons. Uh, we need to push it, then it can open. It's the start for button, and then it's the power off. Along with the main motor, we have the uh, European plug. Professional engineers know about the two round holes plug. Uh, we can power it, and then try to start the machine. Uh, you, can, you can look at the machine and see the machine working. We can press this button and then the machine for blade is turning. It's turning. Okay. It's, the noise is very small. You can keep this machine in your workshop or also in your garage or house. When I press this button, the machine power off. Uh, you can lock it. During my operation, I do not want to connect it to the power just to protect myself. You know, I am not very professional in this machine. Uh, I am good at inter um, introducing the machine and also selling the machine, but I uh, I'm not professional enough in uh, designing or operating the machine. Uh, well, this machine is designed to cut the uh, many many of the material like plastic. The plastic material can be cut, like PVC, and also the metal, aluminum, the stainless steel. Uh, apart from this material, the wood part, the wooden part can be cut also. Uh, if you put this machine in your workshop and want to cut a round wooden bar, it's okay. Uh, well, uh, let me show how to operate this machine. Uh, you can see this machine is fixed well. Uh, the the saw cannot be li uh, lifted. Then uh, we want to show you how to lift this saw. Uh, first of all, we need to lose the lose this uh, button and then lose the uh, handle on the back area. Then. Lift it, lift it, and 
finally we can set the handle well. This is the auto cylinder to make the machine uh, decrease very smoothly. If we want to uh, use it in another step, then change it. It will decrease. You can see it's very smooth. It, and then I can set this. It's very steady. has the angle of uh, 60 degree on the left 60 degree on the left 60 degree on the left and then let's see guess my fans can you guess how many degree guess my dear customers the right angle is 45 45 degree on the on the right and 60 degree on the left. In this way, the machine can cut uh, with different an angles. You can see we move this way and this way very smoothly. And then we move to the right area. After this, we turn the machine back to its original area and lock it. We lock the machine, and then it it is steady now. And someone may uh, be interested to know uh, how much is the weight of the machine. Uh, actually, this machine is not very big and heavy. Uh, the total weight of the machine is 90 kilogram. We can move it with the wheels on it. Uh, there are two wheels on the machine. Two. There are totally two wheels on the machine so that we can move it this way and this way. It's a little heavy for me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, this is the machine oil pan. When the machine is working, the saw blade uh, is cutting. There may be some metal chips uh, flying out. So this, uh, this chip this chip pan will collect the metal chips and then uh, not to uh, fly here and there to make your workshop so dirty. Uh, when the machine is working, the coolant system is working and the coolant liquid com comes out. It's a button to control. This button is to control the coolant liquid uh, out. Now when when you turn on the coolant liquid comes out from this tube. This tube con this tube connects with the coolant tank here. It's a coolant tank on the machine. When when the machine is working, the coolant tank comes out to make the workpiece not that hot. Uh, and there is a, a net area here just to filter the workpiece with the oil to make the coolant liquid very, not very dirty. And from this part is the belt, is the belt box. The, mach the machine speed, the machine speed is three step. We can, we can open to show you. I will take that a little later. There are three steps. Three steps for the one, two, three for the belt for the belt pulley. Uh, we can change the speed here. One, two, three. Change the speed that you need. But we can see from the previous video uh, and show and my show the. Noise is not very big for this machine. Well, 
I will, t I will take that screw uh, when the live show is over. Uh, well, and this part is the machine uh, clamp area for the workpiece. Uh, if you if you want to make uh, if you want to set your workpiece on the machine, just to change on this area. Then use the handle to clamp to clamp the. Just uh, use the, the this clamp to make your workpiece tighty on this area, so the uh, so the saw blade can cut it uh, very easily. Well, apart from this, the machine has a metal machine stand about uh, on on the bottom of the machine, just uh, to support this. Uh, well, you can see it is a metal machine stand. You can put your uh, basic tools and some wrenches on on the base, on the surface of the machine stand, and then your some some of your important reference into the machine stand. This machine stand can be as your uh, drawer or also as the machine support. Well, this machine is the you know, small size bandsaw machine, uh, but can be used in the factory or also the, in your house. Uh, if you may be interested in other machines, uh, bigger or smaller, you can try to click our link or follow our shop to ask uh, in our Alibaba show or in our YouTube. Then our sales manager will contact with you to code for you. We also have some bigger sensor machines uh, like the double column. That, uh, those machines are much bigger sizes to be kept in the factory machine area. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, see some other machines in our showroom. You can see there are uh, main drain machines and also lace machines exhibited in the showroom. These two machines are our popular models, and they uh, they sell they sell a lot in European market. This one is a bench lace machine. Bench lace machine is used to turn a thread on the machine like this. We make uh, we need to uh, put the wrong bar here and use the three door chuck to clamp it. <coughs> and show we use this to clamp. It's too big. The bench lace machine. It is the gear hand ventilation machine with the swing, a swing over that 250 millimeter and the length, the center distance of the lace is 750 millimeter. This lace machine is also European design with the uh, metal checker cover and also two post cover. When you put the check cover on, the machine will stop immediately just to protect the users when the machine is working. And this one is used to protect the user when the machine is working. Uh, we can see this is the the, the, the machine standard tool post is the fourth position type. This one is the full position type, one, two, three, four. Uh, if the user wants to uh, change the tool, uh, they need to adjust the center height again. Mm. Actually, this takes a lot of time and not very useful. Uh, not very easy to make this job. So some users may choose the quick clamp, the, the quick change tool post like this. Uh, the QCTP, we sometimes call it QCTP. Uh, we have European uh, type, the Italian type, 
and also the uh, American type. Uh, there is one holder with several, uh, one tariff with several holders. Uh, you can just uh, set your tool on the machine, then it can be set very easily. Uh, along, with, uh, along with the machine, we offer the uh, standard change gears for you to change the, to uh, make the different thread. Uh, just like with the uh, change gears, the change gears will be supplied along with the standard accessories in the toolbox. Uh, you can make different thread just according to the thread table. This is the thread table of the machine. Uh, if you want to make the metric thread or inch thread uh, with different sizes, you can look at the you can look at this table and choose the uh, correct gear combination and then set it in the uh, change gear box. This is the change gear box. Uh, the, uh, this is the machine main plate. Uh, this area is the machine. Uh, a controlling box with some uh, basic buttons and the uh, feed box. This is the machine metal hand wheel. Very easy to turn uh, to move the to a post. The machine stand is an optional part for this machine. Some customers like the machine stand uh, to put in their workshop because uh, this one can be used as a drawer or also as a support of the blades. But some uh, customers may, may think that, well, I do not this, uh, I do not need this part. Uh, they are useless, so I just want to put my lace on my desk. It's okay. That is wise. Uh, many customers call this lace machine as bench top lace. Bench top lace machine means that you can just uh, take the uh, main machine body and then put it on your desk or your bench or just on your table. It's not mm, a big size but can be uh, very useful in the machining uh, workshop. There are two drawers. Uh, for the machine stand, uh, left side and also the right side. Uh, or sometimes we put the machine uh, operation menu on it and then the uh, tools and also the uh, wrenches here. Uh, some customers may need the uh, tools. Uh, we supply different kinds of tools for the lace machine. Uh, this one is the uh, common type. Uh, this is the carbide lace tools. Carbide lace tool set. Uh, well, how to say this lace machine can be disposal. Uh, if you want, uh, if you use the machine to cut in your workshop, and then uh, if the if the tip if the lace tip is not sharp enough, then this uh, lace tool is useless. You just uh, to throw. You just uh, needed to throw it away. Useless. Throw the uh, lace armor. Uh, it's a waste, we think. Mm, but anyway, this lace tool uh, is a little cheaper than the uh, mm, changeable inserts. Uh, many customers want this kind because uh, for the common conventional lace machines and there is another uh, lace tools that is more expensive like this one. Uh, this lace tool set uh, comes with the changeable insets. You can see it's a little heavy for me. Uh, the lace tools with the interchangeable inserts, uh, when you use the inserts to cut a lot of uh, for a lot of time, then the shaft is uh, 
not very uh, the insert is not very sharp, so you can just uh, change the insert here. The insert here. See, the the lace arbor can be used for a very very long time. Just uh, need to change the inserts. So the average cost for this lace tools can be more can be more and more considerable than that one. Uh, my, my dear customers, if you want to buy only the lace tools, it's also okay. Just uh, contact with me uh, and our con uh, contact with our sales manager. Uh, if you can order a lot of machines, then the lace tools can be as a uh, gift for you. Just uh, let us know what you want and how many you want. Apart from um, the lace tools, we also supply the uh, life center. The, uh, the machine life center is also an optional part. This lace, uh, the life center is used on the tail stock according to the different uh, tail stock paper. This one is the MT3. We guess. I guess so, it is MT3 tape because the uh, tail stock is MT3 and this is used to use the here just to hold the work piece. You can just uh, uh, choose these tools uh, and let us know which ones you like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone may ask us, mm -hmm. all these tools are uh, with extra cost, uh, which ones you offer free? Yes, we also have free parts like this. This is the dead center for the light, for the lace machine. It is the dead center uh, can insert into the tail stock. And this one is the light center. They are different. This one is optional with charges. This one is standard without charges included in the lace machine cost itself. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, we also supply the change gears for the machine, the standard change gears. And this one is the oil cup. You can just uh, put the lubrication oil in this cup then uh, use, the, use this cup to add the oil uh, on this oil hole and also uh, some, some other mechanical parts. Well, mm, you may be interested in our machines, but also worried about the quality or also worried about the uh, after sales service. Uh, for all of our machines, we have professional uh, engineers and QC in our workshop. They are very cautious and very, very uh, responsible during assembly and testing the machines. Uh, we will show you the uh, uh, assembly line video and photos when the machine is on the uh, production line. And when we finish uh, producing the machine, we will show you more photos of the testing and, inspect and inspection. Uh, after the machine uh, delivered to your, uh, delivered to your uh, work workshop, you, maybe you have some questions or maybe you have some doubt about our service, you can just feel free to contact with us because uh, we are always online. Mm, just let us know what you need. Um, um, our fans can follow in our shop and know about this. And this one is uh, the uh, is the another is the last machine that we want to introduce today. Um, it's a small size milling and drilling machine. The the mean the the drilling diameter is 30, 30, 30 millimeter. The drilling diameter is 13 millimeter with the uh, 
brushless motor. DC brushless motor. This one is a brushless motor. Uh, one uh, brushless motor, not one, but 550 watt. That uh, the band saw we mentioned earlier is also 550 watt. 550 watt brushless motor uh, with the variable speed. Variable speed display. This button is used to control the machine speed. Just like your car, it's very easy to change the speed of the machine just by this button. This is the machine emergency stop button. If you have some emergency things with the machine and do not know how to do how to overcome this difficulty, just press this button, then the machine will stop immediately so that uh, you will uh, stay away from the uh, danger. This cover is the CE cover for the machine. When the machine is working, it protects the machine and also uh, the user. When it's turned off, uh, the machine will also stop. The drill chuck is the standard part for this drilling and milling machine. See, this uh, machine table is, is very, is, is very cute. It's a very cute, uh, it's a very cute table size. Uh, we can see the basic parameter is listed on this button, uh, on this uh, plate. The spindle taper is MT3. You can add some tools according to this uh, uh, spindle taper, like, like the milling chuck, the face milling cutter, and some other uh, uh, drilling parts. The lathe machine itself has the operation manual, the uh, uh, wrenches, and uh, some basic tools. If you want some other uh, accessories like the milling chuck, that the base milling cutter, they are optional parts. You can ask um, prices uh, with our sales manager. And uh, this this does not come with the machine vise or clamping kit uh, to hold the parts. If you uh, want to know, they uh, they are also optional parts. What? The lathe uh, the the main drilling machine total weight is just uh, similar with the bench saw machine, about uh, 85 85 kilogram 85 kilogram. Uh, this main drilling machine usually does not have the machine stand. Uh, not many customers want to add that uh, machine stand because it's very small. You can just uh, put it on your table or on your uh, laboratory desk. There are some holes on the uh, machine base. You can try to uh, fix it by some screws that it will not move. We can show how to remove the... It's the because uh, it's a true cabinet here. We do not have for the screws to fix the machine stand. When I move the work table, the machine can uh, can, can be move, moving a little. And this part, all the uh, all the uh, hand wheels are metal. When the machine uh, when the machine is on. Um, Mm, on the package, the uh, the hand wheels will be put up, uh, will be put away and packed with the machines. Uh, the user need to uh, install it just by their uh, screws. It's very easy. Here are some screws here. Just very very easy to use. This uh, this mini drilling machine, uh, because this uh, this mini drilling machine is our. It's, our ex uh, it's not just our exhibiting commodity. We make the plug here uh, in our Chinese style. It is our Chinese style. Uh, we can 
just to connect the water supply and then uh, uh, powering up. Our Benso machine is the uh, is with the European plug. Like this one we mentioned earlier. Uh, because we have many customers in, uh, in our shop, uh, mm -hmm. you can just uh, let us know what kind of plug you need. The European standard, the Asian standard, or American standard. We can make the one that you need. Uh, well, uh, today we, uh, we had a brief interview about the uh, Benso machine, the main drill mm -hmm. machine. These machines, but we have more machines than here. You can just uh, follow our shop and then ask us about the uh, machines that we supply. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your time today. I uh, hope you, we can see your, we can see and have your questions in our live show next.